Hi everyone, we're gonna talk about trading cards for like 45 minutes. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Look at all these. Look at, look at, we're rich in laughter. Because we cre we created a pile of the most, like, obscure, like, not unpopular characters. Uh, take Nova out of it. Except there. Nova, but Nova has long hair, so he's in the pile. Oh my god. He's got such long hair. I'm mad. I'm Danny. This is a pile of trading cards, and this is Southern California Comics Weekly Comic Book Video Update Review Video. I need to get three times. Video. Extra video. Um, books, you, uh, us, and words together um, for thoughts. Sorry, I'm putting my trading That's cards and taking them away. Oh, you're taking oh, no, all no. of these trading cards. Like my Condi Alexander rookie cards. <laughs> Um, Start your first book. So, <laughs> comics came out this week, we're going to tell you about them, including A Terrible Lizard from Oni Press, which is like an adventure monster sci-fi thing. I'm not going to tell you what it's about, because it's... Look at it. Just... Look, hi, look at the cover. Show on the back. Either There's you want to read it, or you don't, you know? Giant spider. There's a Tyrannosaurus. Possibly Rex. Could be what the queen version of Rex is. Rexina. Or like a dog. It could be a dog. Yeah, big... Dinosaur. Oh, he's putting out a lot of cool, like, little stuff, just miniseries and things yeah. that are just kind of cool and fun, so keep checking them out. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. Give God Hates Astronauts a chance, because I did, and I love it. Um, I talked about this before. You guys didn't care because we're still selling, like, two. Yeah. Um, image book. Um, it's the most uh, goofy, insane, uh, and funny book on the shelves, I think. Yeah, like, there is literally nothing like it. It's... It's, it's just absurdism in comic book form with superhero junk and stuff. I wouldn't say making fun of it, but you can definitely see some yeah some connections there. Um, Who's the creator? Ryan Brown? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's just having a ball, just coming up with like the most insane ideas he can. Yeah, and sticking with him and just... He really... In a way, this is like jokey saga. Like, there's such a huge fleshed out world. Like, geez, geez you put a lot of thought into this stuff. Like, the crab people and like the tiger stuff. Um, and he'll do one-off jokes, but then he'll keep using them. So if you like Saga, this is nothing like it, but at all, <laughs> um, it's exactly the same. So check it out. I was gonna say it makes something something like Manhattan Projects just look like Fantastic Four. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So low end, high end, low brow. Do it. I uh, I noticed that uh, Penny Dora and the Wishing Box is out, uh, which nobody has heard of, unfortunately. It's from Image Comics. It's by Cena Grace, who did a uh, Burn the Orphanage. Oh yeah, which is pretty awesome. Those are two different books. Yeah. This is, this is, uh, this is very different, because it's like a little girl adventure kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter type joke, yeah. you know. So, yeah, it's in the kids section, you should check it out. Maybe just doing more of that stuff too, which is cool. Yeah. Because no, for a while it was just like Super Dinosaur, I think, and now they're doing all kinds of different yeah. kind of books aimed at all readers. Coming out cool. with some, some nice stuff for everyone. Speaking of all readers. This is like mostly books. image. I know. Wow, no superhero books. Whoa. Uh, Walking Dead. Um, I don't... I don't know if you heard of this show or, or uh, is this based off a show. I think it's based on a movie. That's it. They do a movie every week on TV, and it's based on that. Just kidding. Shut up. Um, <laughs> the new trades out. I just thought I'd let you know. What issues does it contain? Oh my god. It says on the back usually. No, this one doesn't. You got to oh, go inside. You got to teach people. Is that a samurai? People. No. That looks like a samurai. It's, got, it's issues one twenty-seven and one thirty-two. Only one twenty-seven and one thirty-two. I guess he kind of is. He kind of skipped. But he's got like laser armor. There's a horse. He's got like laser vest or. Yeah, this looks ridiculous. Yeah. This is this is good. Uh, this is actually the, the I guess jumping on point after the big war thing. They kind of reboot a couple years in the future. Not reboot, but they kind of take a pause break. Was that guy at the end? Was it? Whoa, whoa, that's that, that's kind of cool. Wow, why why did they just start doing cool stuff in The Walking Dead? I don't know. It took them a while. But uh, all right, here you go. New trade. We got a bunch, and you can buy it and read it with your eyes. Yeah, the comic should have been getting increasingly insane, but it looks like it only now just. I think it started something new, something weird. Yeah, it's called a new beginning. Yeah. No, it's called Walking Dead. But they're like sub joke. <clears throat> all right, my favorite book of the week is oh, The Humans, also from Image Comics. It's by a actually like more alternative comics guys, Keenan Marshall Keller and Tom Neely. Tom Neely is famous for uh, Henry Loves Glenn, oh, yeah. the uh, the book that where uh, Glenn Danzig and Henry Rollins are lovers. Yeah, in a relationship, and they get in a yeah. weird uh, situational comedy. Sitcomy, yeah. So those guys have teamed up for a hot new image book, which is uh, basically a 1960s, 70s biker comic with monkeys. With monkeys, it's like if Sons of Anarchy took place in the 60s. I like and to they're apes. I like to imagine that in the world of Planet of the Apes, 
before they got to where we see the first movie, this happened. And that kind of like, what's society? Let's get together. Before they got real intellectual and stuff, they just became 70s bikers. All right, consider this a prequel to the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes movie. Yes! Okay, that's it. Because you saw it, you saw that crazy ending, right? I know you don't want to talk about that movie, but that actually would make you want to watch the movie again. Yeah, this is crazy, and there's there's no high concept either, like, no. which I love. It's just about this biker gang, and they're fighting their rivals and stuff. There's zero origin, there's zero... How did the monkey... It Does it matter? Does it matter if it's Earth? Maybe it's monkey? Who cares? It is It is one of the more confident like comic book debuts I've seen in yeah. a while. That's nice, because a lot of times it's... Here's what happened. Okay, okay, but okay, no, here he goes. The guy did the thing. Or like, they'll give you a really cool first issue, and then they're like, okay, here's the high concept. And it's like, oh, I want to see, I want to see a movie adaptation of this. I just want to, I want to hang out with these characters, which this comic does. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Again, kind of more fleshed out universe in the thing. Yeah, it's good fun. When you see a dog, do you want to kick it? And it's got a fake fan club ad. Or maybe yeah. it's a real fan club. <laughs> yes. It's also, fun. it's not for kids. Oh, yeah, no. The monkeys are for everyone, but this book is not. It is not. I, w I wouldn't even say the book is for monkeys. No, I take offense. They can't read either. Yeah. At least they can't read human language. Sucks for them. Haha, <laughs> stupid monkeys. All they, they read is watch TV. Throwing poop. I was going to try and make a pun, but I can't. Stay away from those. Speaking of, th speaking of throwing poop. Uh, Fine. Okay, Jansen is Xenia on a top do it, in the yeah. 007 Women of 007 trading card collection here at Southern California. All right, Comics. we're gonna go ahead and do another thing because this one of those card cards. is a nickel. Oh my god! <laughs> New segment. Yes. And now about trading cards. We're gonna to next one. Uh oh. Okay. We're running out of time for the last segment. We're talking about indie stuff. Yeah. It's we thought fun. let's talk about some more. Something we wouldn't normally talk about. Yeah. Even though I would talk about this. I know. If it came out. But we didn't. We did not. Um. One of my one of my favorite graphic novels of recent years is uh, X'd Out by Charles Burns. Tell me more about X'd Out. It is from the creator of Black Hole, which mm -hmm. is also a great comic. It is a... Uh, this is an X-Men tie-in, right? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Even though it has the word X in it, it's... Let's see. The best way to describe it is uh, it's partially a comic about this really sick, depressed guy, mm -hmm. but he also disappears into a realm where imagine if uh let's see what's it if uh the naked lunch guy did tin tin oh that's weird yeah it's it's very much influenced by uh, william s burroughs okay and like explicitly influenced by tin tin mm -hmm. like the very first frame oh, of the wow. comic is like the classic tin tin hair popping in yeah so it's like tin tin and enter zone <laughs> whatever that means to you yeah they're Wizard people, like, eggs, it's... Strange creatures. Yeah, it, it, and it goes between, like, the the main dude's, like, real life and, like, relationship stuff and him being weird mm -hmm. to, uh, to the t weird Tintin world. And this is, uh, one of three volumes. Mm -hmm. The second one, I don't remember what it's called. Uh-oh. But it's already out. Put the graphic here. Volume three is not out yet. But volume one is out. We have a... We actually have a... Two or three copies of X'd Out. That's a good quality. So come check it out, because it's good. It's always nice to try new things. Maybe you won't like it, but if you do, you get something new. And if not, you can try something else new. Yeah. We demand you try something new this week. Yes. We try new stuff. Like when you go to the Mexican restaurant, if you get red salsa, get green salsa. It's good for you. It's better for your, it's better for your lungs. A lot of times you can get both anyway. Yeah. If you're so scared. Why are you so scared? And that's different. Don't be so scared all the Don't time. be scared. Just eat green salsa. Yeah. Eat nothing but green salsa tonight. Eat the salsa. You need the cup because it's good for you too. A plastic is really good for you. Yeah. It's like. It's what your knees are made out of. Yeah, Bye, see you next week. If you've had a football injury. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> make sure to put that we don't get any plastic, uh, like a big text here, so. Oh, if you eat like one cup, it'll be fine. Just eat one. <laughs> Doctor's Orders. Dot com. Is that a website? Doctorsorders.com? Mm -hmm. Now it is. Okay. It's well, like good. it's like Grubhub but for the <laughs> medical industry. Turn the destroy the camera. Okay. I don't know how else to turn it off. Just beat it. I don't, there's a usually a button. Okay. You, what, do you have a hammer? No!